good, well, mid-morning, guys. Mid-morning is what, half past 11 here in the UK. I'm down here in good old sunny Portsmouth. Absolutely beautiful out there today. Absolutely wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm aiming to be out for four o'clock today because it's Friday. And I do actually, believe it or not, during the day, as a mother, as a stay-at-home mother, um, sort of have a little bit of a schedule and I tend to do things between 10 and 12 and then 12 sort of chills out until sort of 2 and then 2 till 4. Um, so that's sort of how I keep some form of structure for my kids at home. But unfortunately we don't actually have any structure here at this particular point as I am sure most people on lockdown don't at this particular moment. So anyway, my deadline today, for those that don't know and don't know how I work, I'm a coach, so this is quite standard for somebody like me. So it's my birthday on Sunday. I don't bode with birthdays very well, by the way. I have major rejection issues, major abandonment issues, major, like, <laughs> shut birthday down issues. So, um... I use my birthdays, yes darling, as something personal and as something business. So usually I use my birthday as like a um, part of my bucket list and I go and do something that is not me or not in my comfort zones. So I go into another world and I go and do something that I either haven't done since I was a kid or have never done before and I give it a go so take my 30th birthday for example because it's probably one of the coolest ones I ever did um, we were at a skateboard park well we were walking over the skateboard park um, <clears throat> going over to Southport which is up north and um, my boys sort of went there you go mum there's your challenge for you for your birthday this time why don't you go down the ramp on a BMX and of course for those that know me as a kid I was quite a bit of an extremist BMXer in my days as a kid and biking and stuff like that and skating and all that sort of stuff. Obviously had a lot of injuries because of um, being undiagnosed with EDS and had a lot of body pain and would get very, 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 very frustrated with myself because I could never go to the levels that I wanted to go. I was a professional netball player as a kid all the way through to sort of... Um, uh, high school, so I'm not saying pro as in doodah doodah, but I was pro as in I played for the school, I played for the county, and I played for the country at that sort of level. But I was always putting my arm up to take a shoot because I was a goal attacker and I had to step back into goal shooter. And then actually, I did play netball as an adult as well, so I went back to netball and played for the army wives team um, for the medics. Um, I was obviously my, my husband at the time was a medic. I played for both sides actually. So I played for the wives team for all the shots when I was um, married to Gray, to James. And then I continued playing netball through to being married to Graham. And then it, that's when the argument started because I would literally go to netball and then I would be absolutely freaking exhausted. And then I wouldn't be able to get up in the morning and be able to do the normal things that I would need to do. And then I sort of saw it that actually holding on to netball was holding on was better than holding on to cleaning. So my theory was, well, it's fine. If I can't do both, then cleaning goes. I get cleaner and I carry on playing netball. Yeah, no, Graham didn't think that was a wise idea. He thought that the netball should go and I should keep on top of the house. That is where my problems started to occur because I started to feel more and more and more and more of my personality, my character and me as Kelly, me as who I am, not me as mum, not me as homemaker, not me as partner or wife, not me as a daughter, not me as a cousin or a niece or anything like that. Just me, Kelly, who I am, what I do, how I spend my time and what I like to grow in and master basically. What I like to do to the best of my ability and see what I can push myself in further. So obviously this year after my birthday, 
I am going to be absolutely nailing it within my um, own side because there's been parts of my personality and parts of my expression, as I call it, that have been hidden. And the reason that they have been hidden is because they have been my emotional outlet and it's been my way of managing how I feel and obviously dealing with a lot of anger. A rejected child from a father deals with a lot of anger. A lot of girls like me with those ish daddy issues can end up self-sabotaging, getting into drugs, getting into drink, going out, clubbing, slabbing it up, whatever. Boys with daddy issues can get violent, aggressive and turn to crime. And exactly the same with mummy issues. I'm also an abandoned, rejected child of a mother who is not emotionally available to me, as all the psychological reports say, from when I was a kid. Um, and my mother was always said she's she's not a Laura Ashley mum. Funny enough, she is a Laura Ashley mum. She makes curtains, she makes furniture. She's she's one of the, the best damn interior designers that that has probably walked this planet, as is as is my sister. And give it to them you know my mum even out washed the freaking house doctor so yes she is and 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 and, and, and she is I, I'll credit to my mum she, she, she's good at quite a lot of things to be honest my mum um, and that's sort of where I got it from actually because my mum's attitude was always because I went to my mum's every other weekend and on Saturday when we used to get up in the morning and obviously I used to lay on my Garfield quilt, I used to be by the beach. My, my thing, even as a child, I just wanted to be by the sea, by the beach. I was romanticised and in love with the film Beaches with Be Bette Midler. And there was just this one scene where they were just sitting on their porch down by the sea and the kids were just literally playing in the sand by the sea and I was like, yeah, that's where I write my books. That's where I would love to write my books. That's 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 where that's where each year on my birthday I'd start a new book. Boom 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 boom. Because don't forget my books were always meant to be about different things to overcome as well. The different challenges that I've overcome within my life. Some of them you never ever ever actually truly overcome. Like the trauma of Aaron and Faith. That is like living with EDS. It's just something that I have to manage. It's something that I have to cope with. Obviously, this week has been a really hard week for me because the 13th of May was the last time that I saw Mommy, Aaron and Mommy, Faith. Oh, what you Go, oh, go, go. What would you like? What would you like, dude? Come on, come on, come on, come on. What's needed? What's needed? Yeah, we're not doing nin nin. Nin nin's at bedtime in the morning. That's it, mate. No, there is no nin nin. No, 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 no. There is no nin nin at this particular time of the day right now. No nin nin. And you're not even going to pull me over. Ah, look, what's this? What's all this mystery of marvels of nature? What's all of this? Do you want to watch a video on stuff like this? This is really cool. This was a present from social services from children's social care. I actually asked her. I just said, look, your puzzle pieces, you want your puzzle pieces, not a problem. They're in the, actually, this is what I'm procrastinating about, guys, so I'll show you. So literally, I've got, I'll just turn the lights on here. I've got, like, I'm trying to put, any mum will know this. And, and what annoys me, and I don't know if it's a dad thing or if it's just a Dean thing or if it's just a man thing or not. And Dean really helps me out because he knows that I can't pick things up from the floor. So when it comes to that sort of six o'clock tidy up side, what he does is he just literally picks things up and he throws them into the toy box. And I'll go mental, mental, because I'm just not like that. So basically, I'm just starting here. So I'm literally just putting puzzle pieces back together, um, stacking up bits that I know are in the bedroom getting the puzzle pieces together so these are all like literally my boys puzzles and things so I'm just getting these I love wooden toys by the way guys I always go with wooden toys these ones here by the way social services put in the pack for me so these are four new ones thanks to um, the children's social worker yeah, I'm going to bring these two over, these ones over, your new ones, actually. So let's take these ones through. 
Elijah's not actually decent and neither Shiloh at the moment, so I'm just covering children's. And Shiloh is, I can't, where's his, he's so cute. Where's, he, where's, his, where's his little bottom? <laughs> Hello, you all right? <laughs> he's just chilling in the tent. So obviously I've got his little feet dangling out there. Bless. That's the tent. That's my office. I've got all of the DVDs things ready because obviously I'm going to be doing a video that is going to contain a lot of information that you won't get. And then obviously the paperwork is that's actually that one there is uh, the bundle for when um, I had uh, opposed the adoption order. And then that one up there, that blue one up there, funny enough is all my police, some of my police things, because there's another file for that. Um, and so, yeah, so the DVDs are there, and I'm going to get them all burnt and ready and distribute those differently. And then, obviously, the bundle that the boys got out yesterday, and then paperwork is forming, and my suitcases are obviously <laughs> under the tent with Shiloh. So... The challenge that I've got at the moment is I'm setting social services up. Not necessarily setting them up. I'm a very resourceful person. If I want something, I'll make it happen. However, this is unpractical, right? This is just fun. Why am I trying? Seriously, frick off with mine. There's nothing wrong with my internet. So basically, this is actually a double bed down here. And it is actually a proper. So there's two bases and then a double bed and it's meant to be on it. Now, obviously, there was a double bed in here properly. There is a single wardrobe. And um, so that was left. So there was a normal double bed left in here. No carpets or anything like that. So basically, I came into this property. I came to Portsmouth as a homeless pregnant mother with Dean, who was a homeless father, who had just been released from prison for a stabbing. So basically, we sat in a... A uh, core meeting, so what is called a child protection meeting, that basically decides, now they're not allowed to look at anything else. They're not allowed to look at the situation with Aaron and Faith at this particular point. They're not allowed to look at um, anything to do with any previous cases. All they have to look at is the current situation with the current information. So the current information that they had was that Dean and I were homeless. Now, for as far as they were concerned, we'd been here on the streets in Portsmouth for two years, blah, 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 because you have to be somewhere, or sorry, six months, whatever it was, or nine months at the time. It might have actually have still been the two-year bracket. But basically, we had to word things in such a way. So basically, I came down to Portsmouth April the year before to see my mum to decide what to do. On this particular point, as you know, I was on the streets after Aaron and Faith had been taken. And then, of course, I went through cars and sleeping in cars, blah, 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 blah. Stephen in train stations, duh, 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 working, just walking the streets, helping people on the streets and stuff like that. So basically, let's just go to my front door. And a crazy chart out. So let me just take you to my disgusting, hello there, police officers and social workers. May you come into my house? Not a problem, darling. So look at my vile green hallway. Absolutely fucking vile, isn't it? Absolutely fucking vile. Would you like to see my disgusting... I can... The kids are stood behind me, by the way. Um, like my disgusting fucking hallway. Absolutely freaking... Yeah! So, these are our rules. So, no cycling, no skateboarding, no smoking, no gas bottles. In the event of a fire, do not use them. No dogs, no cats, and slippery floors. And then, of course, there are... One, two, three, number, number 12, four, five, six, seven, seven flats per floor. I'm on floor two. And uh, so, yeah, so let me come to my front door a minute. So basically, Dean and I ended up in a Roberts Centre, which was in the black block of flats over the other side. So when you come to social services, so actually, when you come to the housing, what you're under is multi-agency. So it doesn't matter if you're dealing with the edge. This is if you have children. Actually, this is even if you're an adult. Everything is set under multi-agency. 
So basically you are a human, so there's your GP and you have a physical body and then from there is the elements of your characters and problems and flaws. So it will look at if there's any drug issues, if there's any alcohol issues, if there's any probation issues, if there's any criminal activity, if there's, hello there, uh, Holly, if there's any, uh, warning you, I'm on live, if you come in, oh, it's you, <laughs> I'm on live, so I went to you. <laughs> you stayed for a bit then. Oh, at least I get to say bye. You off now, are you? Oh, fucking hell, you. Good luck, girl. Thank you. Good luck. Stay in contact. Thank you. Well, if you, seriously, I'll tell you what, you ever find yourself in shit, girl, you bang on my fucking door and you, you if you can put up with me, if not, you're travelling with me and looking after the kids. That's it. You, you, love you. Thanks for everything that you've done, all the help and everything. I owe you shit loads of backy. <laughs> oh, don't make me go through it again. Fuck off. Go. <laughs> Never want to see you again, you cunt. <laughs> oh, bless. Just two seconds, I've built over the years, like, since I've been here. Like, people come and go. There's, like, Robert Centres, and we basically call it the mental health ward. And, uh, is she gone? Bless. <laughs> so, whenever I run out of Bucky or um, Rizzlers, it's a case of literally I'll stand here at the door and I end up like, big, 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 on like this. Like, literally, bum, bum, bum. And she sort of like comes around the corner and goes, Shh. and, um, because, of course, I'm sort of stuck in. I can't really go anywhere. It's, it's really difficult. It's not like we can just open the door and go into the garden. And even just to go, like, one of my challenges that I've got right now is... Oh, hello. Well done, dude. Is obviously I've got the drying that's all folded, ready to go down. And obviously another wash load that's um, going to be folded, but it's got to go downstairs. What have you got there, darling? The car. Let me just make sure that... Mum, let's just make sure Jasmine fucks off out my life for good and buggers off. <laughs> bless her. So where was I? Oh, I love bless. <laughs> um, here we go. 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 Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Do you know what? I can't wait to do this, mate. I can't wait. Seriously, I can't wait to lock my bloody door. Turn my freaking key and turn to the council person and go. Ah! <laughs> Take it easy, chick. Are they going to house you at any point? They will, though, that's where, yeah. You get there? Stay in contact. See you later. Um, oh no, you're not going out. Let's see, I've caused it now. So basically my kids end up running up and down here. Uh, no, because you've got no clothes on, dude. If you're going to do this, you've got to put pants on for a start. Stop at the door. Stop. No, 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 well, you put these on or not, you, you're you not going out there without them on. Well, then the door shuts. No. Well, I'll shut the door then, it's fine. Sorry, guys. Um, my kids are going to kick off like mental now. So I'm just going to shoot off for a minute. And um, I'm probably going to be on and off um, just getting this done because I can't have them out there. Right. Uh, you're going to pull that unit down now. Um, and seeing Jasmine leave there has just completely thrown me because... You know, I suppose we're not in our lives for all the time and we're not no! together forever, do you know what I mean? But you build bonds with people and you get close to people and then you and leave. You, and you and that's sort of my life, really. So that's sort of why I don't really get close to people because, you know, she doesn't actually live there, by the way. It's her brother's, so she's 
obviously there was a situation and, and I pulled a man off of her and um, I ended up standing up to somebody much bigger than me, which is how you end up building bridges and she's gone into a hostel somewhere. I can't, I'm not going to say where. But she's basically gone into a hostel. She doesn't have any children, so she's no sort of rights in terms of housing. And she does work, um, but she's not working at the moment because she's in the hostel, so thing. Put your legs in then. Shiloh, you as well, mate. I'm glad you've agreed to cover oneself up because I would have had to have had a bit of a stand down with my kids then setting boundaries that I had to close the door because I had this with Aaron and Faith as well because we had a communal area and the kids used to use their paddling pool in it. Well done. <gasps> oh, sorry, sweetheart. Well done, Charlotte. And, um, you know, you never know who anybody is. And my two boys are the sort of kids, especially Shiloh. Shiloh will kick his clothes off anywhere he is. Elijah's a little bit more conservative and just kicks his shoes and his coat and that off and goes to basics. But... Can you get me a top? Yep, fantastic. Well done. Um, you know, we were born naked after all, weren't we? So... Unfortunately, my situation with clothes is a bit of a nightmare because I'm having a restructure because all the winter stuff needs to be packed up. Let me show you. So there's my sofa. Literally, it's all on top of my sofa at the moment. Um, and uh, can you just go and uh, holler Shiloh a minute, dude? Just make him come to the hallway while I... Oh, I've got your, sh I've got your shirt. It's fine. What's your shirt? Um, I've got to get the kids ready anyway because at four o'clock I want to go out and I've got to try to get together Now funny enough, I might be able to use this other phone to do this now the phone that they've sent me funny enough Do you know what one of the issues is with it? I can't put apps on it for recording and um, It doesn't work with live because this is the same phone. Can you face me, please dude? This is the same phone that Dean's got so for those that don't know what I'm talking about, I did a live this morning to say that uh, a phone had arrived from Children's Social Care. And I was wondering whether it was tracked, but it's a basic Tesco's ordered thing. It's not Tesco's phone, it's a, from Tesco's. There you go, dude. Uh, do you need anything else? No, you're fine as you are. Go on then, let me just, let me just shut the doors down. Now this is where arguments start with the council. It's fine, do it, do it, it helps me. Rocco's apparently going to come up and give me a hand. So what I'm going to do is, you see this door? This door here is the door that basically goes straight to the lifts. And obviously, if I go like that, and I... And so if my kids were to do that, or if, say, someone um, was to come onto the floor, then obviously my kids can literally... Do you want to see something? Look. Make sure I don't get shut in the lips. Oh dear, I can't socially distance in the lift. Um, so obviously for my boys to be able to play here, what I do is close the door. I guarantee on security check, I will now have security because I have just shut that door. Whoa, what have you found? Show me, what have you found? Fucking wild. No, you found a spider's web. Lovely place, isn't it, mate? Cleaning's so done, isn't it? Do you know how much I pay for them to hoover this hallway a month? 68 quid, mate. 60 freaking 8 quid. What have we found? Have we found a spider? Yeah. Don't go sit to no, the camera. No, you don't. Oh, it's got my little free the fairies. Quick, free the fairies. Sorry, you're not having them, spider. Free the fairies, mate. Free the fairies. Come on, it's got all the fairies trapped in there. That's it. Free the fairies. Free the fairies. Oh, so also, I have to deal with this systematicness that I've got. Mountjoy, Mountjoy, Mountjoy. Right, you see where that Mountjoy car is now? I used to park my car there. And then you see over there where the bin is, I used to get my car 
literally, oh, I've got cobweb on my finger now. I used to get my car literally up there. They've put a bollard in the way now. Um, and then obviously that's the, you see that, what you see from the front of mine. So this is the side of it. So literally over the bridge, that runs all the way over the bridge. That's the cafe there. And then you see where the silver bit is there. That is all the council. And then the doctors is the other side. And then I'm in a block like that. And if you look at the top of that block, and you see, oh God, the windows are fucking disgusting. It's minging. This is not my house, by the way, it's my hallway. You see the towers on top of the... Here? So, they were meant to be getting them on top of here, and it hasn't happened. Um, I am wondering if it was because they were meant to lock that flat down, I don't know. So the other problem that I have, obviously, is this door. And if my kids push this, this is my exit, by the way. So this is my way out. Um, this is my fire exit. So this is my emergency stairs. And that is my way out um, and how I get in. But it's all camered up as well. So it's, not, it's all literally, as soon as I get to the bottom floor there, it's camered. If I open the lift and go, it's camered. If I go down the front door, front stairs, I'm hitting cameras as soon as I come in. Um, and of course, you know, this is like our garden. So my boys are literally going up and down on. <laughs> Mama running backwards. Hey! Come on, Shiloh. And of course, my neighbours don't want to listen to this. Now, this is a Roberts Centre. This is a Roberts Centre. Um, these are both in private. And then downstairs on each floor, it's all this, pretty much all the same. So I'm not going to be able to do this now, because I'm not going to be able to go in as well now. Um, but this is how I get stuff done. So basically now, what I do, and what's causing me problems with police and social right now, is in order to hoover this hallway, the buggy is here. It's a new, it's a different buggy. So obviously the double buggy has gone. And uh, my kids' roller skates. Shiloh's roller skates. I should really hide them because he'll want them in a minute. So basically anything that's here, I pull out and put in the hallway. So it's things like my children's high chair. Um, this is obviously my children's chalky board. One of them. <laughs> things that they, you know, and I've got, I'm obviously, the storage unit is downstairs as well, so I've got my neighbour's hoover in the hallway, so as soon as you walk into my hallway, it just looks like a cluttered mess, but it's like the hoover, because I've got it out, Shiloh's, go on, take your bikes then, Shiloh's obviously taking his bikes out. Hey, careful. And um, there's my roller skates. You know, it's like a bundle car. And then obviously we head into the boys' bedroom, so it's like a skateboard. And, you know, they've got a kitchen thing. You know, they've got the... And this is the annoying thing, because it's like, you take these out and they're gone. And I'm so fucking organized, mate. I have to have everything in individual boxes and I can't even get over it. Seriously, it's doing my nothing. You know, so the puzzles are obviously out in the hallway, as you can see. You know, it's people, pu you know, uh, animals, cars. I mean, I'm that, I'm that anal. I really am. I'm that anal. Um, you know, all my kids' little wooden toys and their dinosaurs. You know, I'm, 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 but this, I've turned into a jumping base. So this is basically going to be my kids' free running space so they can do all their jumping and then obviously they can jump from jump from jump. But I've got to get all this finished and in place. And I like this, I, I like my flat straight. I'm used to living in a home. I'm used to being in a house. I'm used to having an office, a kitchen, a dining room, a garden, you know, sit out in the garden to my pond do you know what i mean and it's like even for my bin shoe look at this this is how fucking ridiculous it is this is my bin shoe so this is my disposal thing this is where i get my freebies from somewhere but look you gotta get a bin in there really and then
and then that's my neighbour's wall. So every time I, I every time I, I go into the bin, so you can't really use it after a certain time. It's just annoying everybody all the time. So anyway, welcome to the land of the giants. It's not finished. All right, your hat on. This isn't the right hat, dude. This hat's too big for you. This is your. This is the bike hat. You need your skateboard hat. Hang on, unclip it, unclip it. Two seconds, guys, I just need a... Oh, hang on a minute, you need to put your hat on. Hey, guys! Hey, guys. What, are you saying hello now, are you? You saying hello? Hello! How you doing? Look at you, Moppet. Let's show everybody the back of your hair. What's going on with the back of your hair? Look, look at this ratted, matted thing that's going on with his hair, where all his baby hair needs to come out. Yeah, we call it your... <clears throat> is it rat hair, is it? Rat's tail. Yeah. Mm. So what are you up to today then, Elijah? Um, he's driving. Driving? He's driving my... Would you like to get a house with a garden, Elijah? Of course you can. You can try. You want mummy to go on the red bike? Last time mummy went on the red bike. On the green bike. Last time mummy went on the green bike, mate. Mummy ended up. You ready? Oh my goodness, skateboard alert! Oh, hang on a minute. I've got pit. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Yes! <laughs> I nearly, I nearly got pipped by my son. He nearly, he nearly beat me. So anyway, I'm going to kick the kids out here and bring the toys out here so I can try and get the Hoover through because, of course, I borrowed their Hoover and they need it back because they've got three kids in there. I just... Seriously, I can't cope. So, obviously, long live South Bank. Um... Here I go. Oh no. Pedestrians this way, basically. So I've got a house here. This was sort of all done for the kids when we went, for Elijah when we first sort of came in, but it sort of never really got finished. And I said, it was, he's a bit sad. And then obviously, I got. That's the masks that I was trying to show you to say. Obviously, they did warn you. And yeah, so I would love this all gone. It does my nut in. I find it too dark and I can't sit in the bedroom with it in. I can't stand, I can't stand being graphing at home. I can't stand it. I, I get what he does. I get what he's about. I get what he stands for. Um, and I want a home where, because Dean's always, I don't care. I, I, do you know what? Even if me and Dean were not together as husband and wife, or found a park, the man is never really going to have somewhere to see his kids because until he can get into a situation of getting a home, that nobody's really going to help him out because he's just a single man on his own, do you know what I mean? So I'm getting my shit together now, mate. Um, my, my book will sell. It's going up for $9.99. Um, I could do 777 and all that stuff, but 999 is the UK emergency number. Um, I'm calling it, I think I'm going with so professional at the moment. I keep changing my title from gagged to uh, systematic abuse. And I think, well, I want it to be a positive, but I haven't had the happy ending. Do you know what I mean? Usually when you write a book, there's a happy ending. There's not a happy ending per se. It is just literally all of the, uh, ga gathering all of, I'll come show you. So basically, it is just all of, welcome to my children's tent. So obviously, for those that do know, it's just all paperwork. So that filing cabinet, I need to get some WD-40, get access to that, get that all greased, get all that ready. Nobody will freaking help me, they just writ it off. And I, my son said, yes, mum, it can be fixed. It just needs WD-40, it's not the things. And then literally, like, suitcase, suitcase, down the back there, suitcases are down there now. 
And then the moment, so Monday, well, no, yeah, Monday I'm starting that. So I have to have the bedroom straight. The bedroom's going to be a daily issue until it gets sorted. So basically, I have asked Social that while we're here on lockdown, to basically just put a, a carpet in there. I've got a makeshift in there. Yes, darling. I want to race with you. I want my racing on. I was going, oh, I've chosen mine, mate. I've chosen my car, kids. Come on, mummy's got a car. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Steady. Go. Go. Oh, skateboard alert, skateboard alert. Oh, he's pipping me. Oh, he's coming to the racing. He's <laughs> oh. I think that, I think that one was a bit of a jaw, but this is absolutely killing my legs. So anyway, when I'm trying to get stuff done, obviously I get distracted. And if I go in the bedroom, the kids go and trash the kitchen or the living room. If I go in the living room, they trash. Oh, it's hurting my legs now, dude. If I go in the bedroom, living room, they trash. So it's hard work. So I bellowed Rocco out the window and just sort of said, look, will you come and chill in mine today? The challenge is he works at our hospital as a porter. Um, but obviously I see Rocco every day. And obviously we just see me with Jasmine. So um, not every day, but most days. Um, I like having Rocco around because Dean's son's called Rocco. So whenever I hear the boys saying Rocco, it's just sort of... Ah, oh, yeah, this is the problem. This is the problem. Yeah, these, these don't need to come out here. These are magnets. Oh, don't hit your brother. These don't need to come out here, dude. You want them as a, so you want to jump? Right, can we not use these for jumping then? Can we use something else for jumping? Uh, 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 we're using something else for jumping because I really do not. You can jump over your skateboard. You can jump over your skateboard. You don't need to jump over them because they, 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 you know, jump over that. These are go back in the kit living room, bedroom, because these are going in a new container. I ain't having this, mate. Because it just means that every day I'm trying to restructure things and put things back and. Oh shit, see I've done it again, you know, and if they pull the books down and I'm doing it again Because obviously they're toddlers at the end of the day He's whinging at me now because I've broken his jumping thing Right, this is a jumping thing Just watch out because Doodah's got to come out in a wheelchair in that one, so Further down This is my son's skateboard so. Hang on, I'm making a jumping for Shiloh what else can we use for jumping? Uh, so, oh, surfboards, maybe. Surfboard. Ah, snow and surfboards, they can go out there. Because it gives me a bit more space in here. And it's things like this I want in storage. Because it's like things that we do, how we spend our time. Yeah, these can be jumping things. Because at the end of the day, we live by the sea, and the sea's free. And once you buy, see things. Look, you've got jumping, more jumping now. So, obviously snow. The snow can come down. Don't you hit, you dare hit your brother. Don't you dare, don't you dare. I'm filming you, mate. People watching you. People watching that behavior. Um, the people watching that behavior right now, Elijah. People watching you, watching that behaviour. You want to be that sort of person? You want to be that sort of person? Right. You can't hit somebody on camera, mate. You don't hit them behind closed doors, do you understand? No. Don't speak to me like that. Right, so. You want a wee? Right, there we go. We've got a bit of a ramp and a jumping thing going on now. That one might be a bit of a lethal jumping thing. Let's try that on the other side. What do you reckon? Oh, God, he's going to go and get his bike, isn't he? Skateboard. 
skateboard. Ah, <coughs> you ma! New. Night. Excuse me. Night. Excuse me. Stop. Say sorry. Carry it on, mate, and you'll go to one corner and he'll go to another corner and you'll sit there until you can come in the middle and talk to each other. No! Told you about fighting, mate. There's only ever one time you need to fight. Yeah! Not your brother. Look, you can't do me! Oh, well. Mommy! Well then, so anyway, guys, I'm going to let the kids run around out here because me being on live is heightening it up. And um, yes, darling, they really do want to go out in the garden, so uh, I'm just designing the home that I want right now. I know what I need. This ain't it. This don't work. Hasn't worked for a long time. We've nearly been moved so many times and it's not happened. I'm going to come and race with you. I'll race with you. Shiloh will race with you in a minute. Well done. Try again. Try again. Well done. Good attempt, mate. Celebrate the attempt you tried, mate. Not many people would have even have got up there and tried. Yeah? Celebrate it. Stand up. Stand up. That was really good. Stand up. Stand up. That was good. There you go. Try again. There you go. Well done. High five. High five for even trying. Well done, good attempt. You do better next time. That's it. That's it. Just get get used to it. Just get get used to it. Um, see, even in my garden, I want to have ramps for him and stuff, so I can bring the coaches home. Uh, oh my goodness. Elijah, move out of his way. Don't. Don't deliberately sabotage him. Right, what I would say to you, Shiloh, is that's not straight. I'd maybe straighten that up. Always check your ramps. No, always check your ramps before you get on your ramps. No, step back, it's not straight. Always check your ramps. Don't ever account on anyone. Check your ramp, check your base. Check your top, make sure it's straight. Yeah? Don't... Right, exactly, check your ramps. Oh. There you go. Less guys, kids can't cope with it. They just can't. They just want to go to the sea. So, four o'clock, I'm off down to the beach. Anybody in Portsmouth wants to go and meet me down at uh, the crossing under the tree, I'll see you there. Um, and I've got to get my kids out and get this stuff done. So I could really, really do with either someone giving me a hand with the kids right now, someone giving me a hand for getting this straight right now. Because at the end of the day, I've got 92 subluxations in my body. I have a twisted pelvis. I have sclerosis in my spine. I have four discs that are subluxing in, in, uh, uh, protruding in my back. Every single finger and knuckle doesn't work in my hands. My wrists dislocate. My shoulder is completely subluxed. And I have a Chiari malformation and a fucking headache. And I'm not on any pain medication. I am going back on to CBD. I've told everybody that I, I can't cope anymore. So that's how it, that's, that's the way it is. So I'm currently looking for full-blown, proper pain management suppliers of CBD oils and aloe vera and everything. Because I'm on a mission, mate. And I ain't stopping until I'm done. And that means I'm sitting in my home, enjoying my Thanksgiving and my birthdays and Christmases with all of my children with me. And I'm not gonna stop until that day happens. And hopefully, I'll have a husband, and my mum and my dad and my family and my friends. But at the end of the day, if you weren't with me, and I was in a fucking shit hole and coming from the streets, then you ain't gonna be with me when I'm living the life of my dreams. So hopefully, you can go and live the life of yours too. So that's where we're up to, so. Let's just say, it won't be long.